Uh, my name is Dr. Tom Jensen. I'm a director in the North American program of the International Plant Nutrition Institute. Once uh, a seed germinates and that seedling starts to grow, it's not very long uh, within a week or so that it has to start absorbing nitrogen from the soil. And the big uptake of nitrogen happens in the vegetative part of the crop. Once it's there, then through the rest of the growth stage of the plant, a lot of the nitrogen is moved. It's moved from the stems, the older leaves, up uh, into the flowers and into the seeds, the grain of the crop. Starts going into the veg vegetative stage, and then starts to elongate. That's when it's taking up a lot of nitrogen. And it, let's say on a, on a typical wheat crop, it's probably taking up about uh, 80, 90 pounds per acre, 90 to 100 kilograms per hectare, and into the tissues of the plant. And then the uptakes, once it elongates and, and flowers, makes a head and flowers, then that uptake slows right down. And then primarily the plant is remobilizing the nitrogen from the tissues up into the grain of the plant. Once we've got the plants really growing fast, they're, they're pulling it out of the ground effectively. They, but it's early spring. Uh, if we put it on in the fall, or if we put it on early in the spring, there's that, that time period where we have spring thaw until the plants hit vegetative. That's when we have the biggest potential for losses. Uh, in Manitoba, um, Dr. Mario Tanud has estimated under sometimes, uh, let's say they put on 100 pounds per acre, they can have losses up to 60, 70, 80 pounds per acre under wet spring conditions. So there's, there's some neat additives and products that we can incorporate into our nitrogen management to reduce losses, improve crop uptake, reduce losses of nitrogen to the environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. One we call uh, nitrification inhibitors that'll keep the nitrogen in the ammonium form longer and so less chance to change over to nitrate 